Holly Berry's breakfast? Oh, hi, yeah, um, I need some help. Earlier this week, I ate a vegetarian breakfast. You what? Yeah. Look, your kind ain't welcome around here, mate. No, 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 wait, don't hang up. I need some therapy. Could I order one of the giant mega box breakfast challenge things that you do? Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. Actually, better make it two. These things are heavy. What's up, Bid Army? Welcome back to another video, and this one is going to be a short video today. I promise. You lie! I've done a lot of long videos like this, so I'm going to try and make this, I don't know, about 10 minutes. I'll try my best. But uh, if you watched this week's earlier video, you'll know I did a vegetarian breakfast challenge. I know, I know, I feel dirty all over. So, in penance paid to the gods of meat, I ordered two of these mega monster full English breakfast challenges. These are marketed as the biggest deliverable breakfasts in Yorkshire, which is the county that I live in. You fat I haven't fact checked that, so I don't know if it's actually true. But um, yeah, it looks delicious. I thought I would order two of them because why not? All right, I'm gonna give myself one hour to do this. That should be enough, famous last words. I'll put the calorie count on screen if I can figure it out. But without further ado, this is Beer Mixed Food, and this is the Mega Mog- The Mega- Who's going to- Alright, hopefully you can see the timer there. Let's get started with the sausages. East. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video, and I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, another breakfast challenge. I'm gonna open these up for dipping. Dipping indeed. And uh, yeah, another breakfast challenge. I felt like I needed some meat therapy after that vegetarian breakfast challenge I so heinously did earlier in the week. And uh, who doesn't love a giant breakfast, right? All right, sausage is done. Let's move on to the eggs. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nobody eats an egg as seductively as I do. I don't care what anyone says. Anyway, we started with the uh, sausages and the eggs, as you just saw, just cleaning the beard a little. All right, next, black pudding. I know it freaks a lot of people out that I eat things like item by item. Like all the sausages, all the eggs, all the black pudding, rather than mixing and matching together. I don't know why I do that. It's like a psychological, tactical thing, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just do that to keep the, uh, the flavors new and interesting. Mmm, the black pudding was good. Yeah, the black pudding was actually really good. And you normally expect black pudding to be the worst part of a, a cheap breakfast. But uh, just smashing the hash browns now. And this is actually two mega monster breakfast challenges from a uh, fairly local cafe. And they market this as the largest deliverable breakfast in Yorkshire. So why not get two, right? This is like some <coughs> unholy product of into breakfast item breeding <laughs> well i amused myself there that's clearly just a a piece of fried egg stuck to a hash brown i'm just gonna reach down and fill up my water now because i'm absolutely pounding the water that normally happens with breakfast challenges because they're so high in salt i should really relax with the water right next we will do some bacon sandwiches a bacon sandwich really is a great addition to uh, any cooked breakfast. Should really got some uh, HP sauce there though. Crucial part of a bacon sandwich. Putting the bacon in the toast is slowing me down. It's taking too long. Yeah, that was tactical mistake number one. Uh, I kind of thought that I would put the bacon in between two slices of toast and uh, make a sandwich kind of optimize jaw endurance. But it was just kind of too stiff to uh, to make my way through. And the bacon on this was probably the worst element. It really did taste like cheap 
pardon me, cheap, cheap bacon, uh, which I really don't enjoy. It was a little underdone as well. <sighs> Too much bacon. Frankly, I like my bacon really crispy, but... Ugh. With a big string of fat. Bacon can wait till the end. Let's do spam next. I don't think I've ever done a breakfast challenge with spam on it. And for me, to be honest, there's no real reason why spam should even exist anymore. It was invented during World War II, right? Or World War I? One of those wars. As like a cheap means to, to give people a little bit of meat. You can say that again. I'm going to talk over this part because the spam is so greasy. I'm making some weird ASMR sexy eating sounds now. I really don't know how to describe spam other than it's basically, I think, just mashed up remnants of what used to be animals. Hold up. I actually did some research on this. Apparently, it's pork. A little bit of ham and some modified potato starch. Maybe getting two of these things was a bad idea. Yeah. Too late now though, beard. You can't back out. Uh, so yeah, spam. Um, there were four slices of spam in total here. Not a traditional full English breakfast component, but some people do like to put fried spam on their breakfast. God knows why, because it just tastes like... Uh, I don't know, like if they did... Meat flavor blancmange. <sighs> We're doing okay. Yeah, that's an accurate assessment at this point. We're doing okay, but it does start to kind of exponentially slow down a little bit because there's a lot of bread left here. And although it doesn't look like it, quite a lot of bacon. And that stuff was really, really getting to me. It tasted so bad at this point, I really didn't want to eat it. <clears throat> Getting tricky now. Yeah, tricky and smelly. Nothing like a good old fashioned. English fry up to get the old pipes a tootin. But um, if you're curious what's in these little polystyrene pots here, it's uh, beans, baked beans, and uh, some pulped up tomatoes. I would have preferred fresh or like just fried tomatoes and uh, my age old nemesis, fried mushrooms. <sighs> Bacon's brutal. Lady Gaga could make a dress out of this bacon. Maybe not a dress, maybe like a garter or some kind of small accessory. Solid pop culture reference there. Although I think it's been like, what, half a decade since Lady Gaga made that dress. I don't think it was bacon either. I think it was, was it like steak or beef or something? Who knows? Anyway, things are about to get dramatic right now. You can tell by the music. And that's because I'm actually, at this point, legitimately struggling. Like, I don't know if I was just looking at the food thinking it's not gonna be that hard, but I think it's always difficult with salty and super fatty foods 
to uh, to kind of keep going, you know? Which kind of helps to take away the taste of the bacon. This, yeah, this, this did actually help, though. Maybe if I eat a piece of bacon, chase it down with these, uh, pulped tomatoes. That is actually slightly better. Yeah, so at this point, I've kind of fortuitously stumbled across a tactic which works quite well in that I'm eating a slice of bacon and then following it with a spoonful of this pulped up uh, tomato, which is kind of tangy and sweet. So it really helped to cut the salty monotony of the of the, the bacon, which I really didn't enjoy at this point. And you can see it's really starting to become a struggle. And yeah, I'm, I thought about calling Mrs. Beard to, to help with the... Oh, look at those mushrooms. I was going to call her to help with the toast, but I pushed on through. I've mentioned this before, but I really dislike mushrooms. Not necessarily the flavor, it's just the fact that I can't digest them. So whenever I eat them, they'll come at me like this in the morning. Yeah, everyone's heard that story before, Beard. Pipe down. Um, anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you enjoy the dramatic climax. Who doesn't enjoy a dramatic climax? Well, I'm going to leave you in peace and I hope to enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll catch you next time. This is Bear Meets Food and that was the biggest deliverable takeaway breakfast challenge in Yorkshire times two. I don't know why I did it twice. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. There are a couple of scraps, just don't tell Randy. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. I hope I managed to condense this video into a 10 minute video. <laughs> oh, that was so salty. Oh, I need to lie down. <sighs>